Hi guys! In this video, we will be discussing the operations on rational numbers, addition and subtraction of fractions. Our objectives is to simplify fractions and add or subtract similar and dissimilar fractions. Paano ba natin malalaman kapag ang fractions ay naka lowest terms or naka simplify? So to change a fraction in lowest terms, divide both numerator and the denominator by their greatest common factor or GCF. Examples. First, we have 3 over 9. Get the greatest common factor of 3 and 9. So that is 3. So divide lang natin siya sa numerator and denominator. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. So the lowest term of 3 over 9 is 1 over 3. Next 2, 15 over 25. The greatest common factor is 5. So divide ulit natin sila, numerator and the denominator. 15 divided by 5 is 3 and 25 divided by 5 is 5. So the lowest term of 15 over 25 is 3 over 5. Last 3, we have 14 over 22. So the GCF is 2. So divide natin both numerator and the denominator. So 14 divided by 2 is 7 and 22 divided by 2 is 11. So, the lowest term of 14 over 22 is 7 over 11. So, kung titignan natin yung lowest term, so wala na siya ibang factor except 1. So, a fraction is in lowest terms if the numerator and the denominator have no common factor except 1. So, now let us have the addition and subtraction of similar fractions. So, paano ba tayo mag add at magsusubtract? So, to add or subtract similar fractions, add or subtract the numerators and retain the value of denominator. So, kapag ba sinabi natin similar fractions, ano daw siya? So, the example or the examples are 1 over 8, 3 over 8, 5 over 8, and 7 over 8. Next, we have 7 over 17, 9 over 17, 11 over 17, and 13 over 17. So, kung titignan natin, lahat ng denominators niya ay magkakaparehas. Okay? Sa number 1, lahat ng denominators ay 8. Sa 2, lahat ng denominators ay 17. Therefore, kapag sinabi natin similar fractions, Fractions with the same denominator. Now let us add or subtract the similar fractions. First, add 7 over 13 and 4 over 13. This is 7 over 13 plus 4 over 13. So pagsamahin natin si 7 at 4, all over 13. So 7 plus 4 is 11. So, 11 over 13 is the sum of 7 over 13 and 4 over 13. Next, add 12 over 27 and 9 over 27. So, 12 over 27 plus 9 over 27. So, pagsamayin ulit si 12 at 9. So, all over 27. So, 12 plus 9, that is 21 over 27. Next example, add 3 and 5 over 11 and 2 and 6 over 11. So, kung makikita natin doon sa given, pareha silang mixed numbers. So, ngayon, anong gagawin kapag kaganyan? So, kunin natin yung whole number, pagsasamahin natin, and then yung fractions. Okay? So, next, 3 plus 2 is 5 plus Numerator is 5 plus 6, 11. The denominator is 11. So, 11 over 11. So, add natin yan, 5 plus 1, because 11 divided by 11 is 1. So, the answer is 6, or the sum is 6. 
Next, 4. Subtract 7 over 15 and 4 over 15. Sa so, parehas tayo ng gagawin. So, ang ikakapi ang denominator, then perform the numerator. Perform the operation. Okay? So, we have 7 over 15 minus 4 over 15. So, 7 minus 4 all over 15. Subtract natin. So, that is 3 over 15. So, pwede pa natin i-lowest term si 3 over 15. So, ang GCF niya ay 3. Divide natin sila sa 3 over 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Then, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So, the answer is 1 over 5. Next, Subtract negative 11 over 18 and negative 5 over 18. So, dito magkapareha sila ng sign. So, this is negative 11 over 18 minus negative 5 over 18. Pagsamahin natin yung numerators. So, magiging negative 11 minus negative 5 all over 18. So, ang magiging sagot is negative 6 over 18. So, ang rule natin sa subtraction, keep, change, change. So, ikikip natin si negative 11, i-change natin yung sign ng subtrahend, then proceed to addition. So, that's why negative 11 plus positive 5. Kaya, ang naging sagot natin is negative 6 over 18. So, hindi pa siya naka-lowest term. Kailangan pa natin i-lowest term. So, ang GCF niya ay 6. So, divide both numerator and the denominator by 6. So, negative 6 divided by 6, that is 1 or negative 1 over 18 divided by 6 is 3. So, the answer is negative 1 over 3. Next, 6. Subtract 3 and 1 over 5, and 2, and 3 over 5. So, in here, gagawin nating improper fraction yung mixed number natin. Okay? So, paano gagawin? Doon muna tayo sa minuend. So, ang minuend natin dito ay 3 and 1 over 5. So, change muna natin siya sa improper fraction. Imumultiply natin si denominator sa whole number. So, 5 times 3, 15, then add the numerator. So, that is 16 over 5. And then minus, subtrahend, denominator times the whole number, 5 times 2 is 10, then add the numerator, which is 3. So, 10 plus 3 is 13 over 5. So, subtract na natin sila. 16 minus 13 is okay, 3 over 5. Okay, so we are now done in the addition and subtraction of similar fractions. Let us move on to the addition and subtraction of dissimilar fractions. To add or subtract dissimilar fractions, Change them to equivalent fractions by finding the least common denominator or LCD. Then apply the rules in addition or subtraction of similar fractions. So, kailangan muna natin gawin na similar fractions para ma-add or subtract natin. Okay? So, first example, we have 1 over 3 plus 3 over 4. So, on first step, get the least common denominator so ang denominators natin ay 3 and 4 so kunin natin siya by least common multiple so ang 3 natin so ang multiples niya ay 3, 6, 9, 12 si 4 ay 4, 8, 12, 16 so ang common multiple nila ay 12 so since yun ang common multiple nila that is our least common denominator. Okay? So, since yun ang least common denominator natin, ang gagawin daw natin, change them into a equivalent fraction. 
So, paano natin sila i-change sa equivalent fractions? So, first, yung denominator or yung least, least common denominator, 12, divided by 3, yung denominator, that is 4, then multiplied by the numerator, which is 1, the product is 4. Again, yung 12, least common denominator, i-divide doon sa denominator, and then, i-multiply sa numerator, the answer is 4. Next, 12 divided by 4, so doon tayo titingin kay 3 fourths, so ang denominator ay 4, so 12 divided by 4 is 3, ita times natin sa numerator na 3, that is 9. So, 9. So, ngayon, parehas sa tayo ng denominator or similar fractions na. So, 4 plus 9, that is 13 over 12. So, kung mapapansin natin, ang sagot natin ay improper fraction. So, change natin siya into a mixed number. So, kapag change natin siya sa mixed number, di-divide lang natin si 13 kay 12. So, si 13 ang nasa loob, ang nasa labas ay si 12. So, 13 divided by 12, 1. 1 times 12 is 12. Subtract natin silang dalawa. So, the difference is 1. So, kapag sinulat natin siya, pa letter J, yung nasa taas, yun ang whole number, yung nasa baba, yung difference, that is the numerator, and then yung 12 is the denominator. So, the answer is 1 and 1 over 12. 13 over 12 or 1 and 1 over 12. Another example, 1 over 2 plus 2 over 5. The denominators are 2 and 5. So, first, get the least common denominator. So, gagamitin natin yung least common multiple. So, multiples of 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Multiples of 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. So, ang common sa kanilang dalawa, yung least common multiple is 10. Okay. So, since nakuha natin yung least common multiple, yun na magiging least common denominator natin. Okay. So, after this, change to equivalent fractions. So, gagamitin natin yung least common denominator natin. That is 810. Focus tayo kay 1 over 2. Okay? So, ang denominator ay 2. I-divide natin. 10 divided by 2. That is 5. Then, i-multiply sa numerator. Ang numerator ay 1 times 1. The product is 5. So, yun ang ilalagay natin sa unang fraction. Next, 10 divided by 5. Doon tayo sa 2 over 5. That is 2. I-multiply natin sa numerator times 2. The product is 4. So, yun ang ilalagay natin sa pangalawang fraction. Okay, so ngayon, similar fraction sa silang dalawa, add natin. 5 over 10 plus 4 over 10 that is 9 over 10. Now, let us have the subtraction of dissimilar fractions. 3 over 4 minus 1 over 3. So, the denominators are 4 and 3. First step, get the least common denominator. Kunin natin ang multiples ni 4 at 3. Ang multiples si 4, 4, 8, 12, 16. Multiple si 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So, using least common multiple, kunin natin yung least common multiple, that is 12. So, yun ang magiging least common denominator. Okay? And then, get the equivalent fractions. Gagamitin natin ang least common denominator, which is 12. Focus muna tayo kay 3 fourths or 3 over 4. I-divide natin siya dun sa denominator. Okay, so 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Then multiply to the numerator. 
which is 3, or 3 times 3, the product is 9. So, yung 9, ilalagay natin sa first fraction. Next, 12 divided by 3, so yung denominator ni 1 over 3, that is 4. Multiply sa 1, kasi yun ang numerator natin, the product is 4. So, yun naman ang ilalagay sa second fraction. So, ngayon, since parehas na ng denominator, pwede na silang isubtract. 9 minus 4, the difference is 5. And the denominator is 12. So, the answer is 5 over 12. Last number 4. 7 over 6 minus 3 over 4. So, ang denominators ay 6 and 4. First, get the least common denominator. Kunin natin yung multiples ni 6. 6, 12, 18. Multiples si 4. 4, 8, 12. So, kitang-kita ang least common multiple. 12. So, yun ang magiging least common denominator. And then, kunin natin yung equivalent fractions. Gagamitin ulit natin si least common denominator. Unahin muna natin si 7 over 6. Okay? So, 12 divided by the denominator of 7 over 6 or the first fraction, that is 2. Then, multiply to the numerator times 7, the product is 14. So, yung 14, ilalagay ulit natin sa first fraction. And then, 12 divided by 4, that is 3, multiplied by 3, so, the product is 9. Ilalagay ulit natin siya sa second fraction. So, pwede na natin isubtract ulit. 14 over 12 minus 9 over 12. The difference is 5 over 12. 